In this video, I'm going to show you a nice easy way that you can use to prove that a line is a tangent to a circle or that it's not a tangent to a circle. So fundamentally, you have three possibilities. If you were to draw a line at random, one of three possible things could happen. You could have this case here where you have two points of intersection and therefore that is not a tangent. You could have this situation where the line that you draw doesn't even touch your circle. And so that's also not a tangent. You could also have the situation where it touches at exactly one point, and that is a tangent. So when you're doing your proof, basically what you're trying to do is show that it's the third case where you have a tangent and show that it's not the other two cases which are not tangents. So the result of this proof is going to tell you which of these situations you have. So let's think about the equation of the intersect. So if we could come up with some equation that we could find the point of intersection from, you would find that that equation could have between none and two solutions. So if we look at the far left-hand case, you would have two solutions because when you solve the intersection equation, you're going to find the two points where it hits the circle. If it doesn't touch the circle at all, if you try and make an equation for the intersection and solve it, it'll come up with no solutions because those two equations don't ever um, intersect. Or in the case where you do have a tangent, when you have an equation for the intersect, you will find exactly one solution. So this is the theoretical underpinnings. So let's look at a worked example. So we're going to prove that the line y equals a half x plus 5 is a tangent to the circle that's got the equation y equals x squared plus y squared equals 20. So we've got a circle, we've got a line, and we have to prove that these are actually going to intersect. And the key fact that you need to use to solve this is at the point where they intersect, the y values will be the same because both equations have to give exactly the same values. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an intersect. The solutions to both the equations are going to be the same at that specific point because it's a point of intersection. So what we can do is we can take this equation that says that y is equal to this. We know that the y value in this equation and the y value in this equation are going to be the same when it intersects. So we can take all of this expression here and put it inside this y. So that's what I've done here. I've just substituted the whole equation of the line into the y part of the circle equation, and we get this expression here. We're going to do some work on this expression. So let's look at this expression here. Obviously, we need to multiply this out. And when you multiply it out, you're doing the half times a half to get your quarter. The middle terms are going to be 2.5x plus 2.5x, giving you the 5x. And then you'll do 5 times 5, which gives you the 25. And so we now have one equation. And we want to work out the solutions to this equation and figure out how many solutions we have. So are we in the case where we've got two intersects? no intersects or that single one point of intersection that shows that you've got a tangent. So we can tidy that up just simply combining, we've got one x squared here and a quarter x squared, so we can combine that together. And we can also take this 20 and move it to the other side. And this gives us a nice expression. Whenever you're trying to solve equations, it's always helpful in terms of quadratics, that's equations with squares in them, when you get everything to one side and zero on the other side, that makes life a lot easier because that brings in the quadratic formula. So let's look more carefully at our nice quadratic here. We can apply the discriminant. So what we can do is take that part of the quadratic equation that is under the square root, and that is what's going to tell us what number of solutions that we have. And we are doing a proof here, so we already know that this is a tangent. So in this case, we would expect that b squared minus 4ac is going to be exactly equal to zero. If it was to be greater than zero, that would mean you have two points of intersection. If it's less than zero, you have no points of intersection. So if it's not equal to zero, either bigger or smaller than zero, that tells you that it's not a tangent. If it's exactly equal to zero, you do have a tangent. So our B term is going to be this five. The A is going to be five over four, and C is going to be five. So we just substitute that into the expression. And you should immediately see that 5 squared is going to be 25. The 4 and the 4 are going to cancel. So you basically got 25 minus 5 times 5. And well, that equals 0. And so you've got 0 equals 0. You've proved that the discriminant here equals 0. So you've proved that there is only one solution. So you're in this case here. If you wanted, you can find that point if you solve 
this equation here, perhaps using the quadratic formula, you would find that x equals minus 2. And then you could take minus 2 and, say, put it into this expression here. And you would find that you have a solution for y of 4. And you could find the point of intersection. So that is how you can prove that a line is a tangent to a circle. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it did help you out, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe below. And finally, thank you for watching.